You played only one game in right field as a Fenway Park in 2014. What do you remember about it? And is, is there much, I mean, because you played a corner, is it the same or is it feel different? Uh, I remember that being around the same time that, um, that, that Big Mike had the pine tar thing. Um, it was a pretty, uh, pretty entertaining weekend, if I remember right. But that was a long time ago. Obviously, um, you know, a, a kind of a different memory about the time. But um, yeah, I mean, just obviously need to need to be comfortable over there. Need to get some reps over there. And um, <clears throat> you know, I feel I, I feel like I could just roll out of bed and play center or left and right field. Obviously, is something that I haven't done a whole lot of. So. Just try to get some balls off the bat over there in BP. Obviously, I played over there the other day. I think I'm playing right field again tomorrow. So, just to just to be comfortable, just in case. Um, you know, I expect. Uh, I told Aaron I expect him to be out there for all 162 games. So, uh, I don't think that I'll be needed. But um, yeah, I mean, just uh, just in case. Because you've played a corner and not just center, uh, is it a drastically? Does it feel like a drastically different angle off the bat just because you're over there? Well, yeah, it is. I mean, in a way, it's opposite. I mean, um, you know, when you're in left and a right-handed hitter's up, he's going to pull the ball to you, and obviously in right field, it's going to be uh, the opposite field, and then obviously the same thing with lefties when they're hitting. So it's a little different mindset. Um, you know, I, I felt like I saw the ball well off the bat the other day, and like I said, I'll just get, keep getting reps over there and um, feel like, you know, wherever I have to go play, um, I'll be ready. And if I can ask you one more, we hear a lot of the younger players talk about how much they look up to you for guidance and leadership. Who are some of the guys that you're still looking to lean on? Who do you talk to about at, at this stage in your career as you're looking for guidance and you're looking for leadership? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, obviously some ex-teammates, anytime things come up, you know, I've, I've got quite a long list of guys that I can ask and, um, and and they'll answer and they'll help with, you know, guys that I've played with over the years. and. And not just guys in the past, but guys guys that are in that room now, current teammates who, you know, may be a little bit younger or may, um, you know, we've got guys in camp like Jay Bruce. I mean, he's been around for a long time and had a heck of a career. So, um, you know, I've obviously been here the longest, so everybody kind of naturally looks to me. But we've got a lot of great leaders in that room and a lot of great guys that, as you said, that, uh, that I can lean on, that some of the younger guys can lean on. And I feel like, um, you know, up and down and all across the room, we do a really good job of that. You want to share names of any of your former teammates that you talked to about this? Stuff? I mean, obviously, CC. Um, he's a guy who, um, you know, this will be our second year without him. He's a guy that can't be replaced, um, and we felt that last year. You know, that big void in the clubhouse with him not being around, and you know, he's a guy that, um, as as I said, you can't replace, but you can definitely learn from. And um, he's a guy who, you know, just the way that he treated people when he was when he was in that room and. Um, you know, being able to learn from a guy like him and also some of my younger teammates who were fortunate enough to play with him, being able to learn from him, um, he would be one of the first guys that I would, I would go to if I needed something for sure. And, um, you know, there's, a, there's another long, uh, like I said, a long list of guys. And with, with the last year and a half with, with COVID and stuff, guys not having access, um, you know, it's in the past we've had guys like Reggie and guys like Willie and Gator and, you know, the list goes on here at spring training, and now that's not the case anymore. So, um, you know, definitely, definitely fortunate that CC's still close, and, um, you, know, he, um, you know, he knows the inside of that clubhouse like nobody else. So um, he'd be right at the top of the list. We go next to Pete Caldera. <clears throat> Hey, Brett, did you, you, you mentioned Jay Bruce, and I wanted to ask you what your impressions have been of, of having him in camp as a teammate and uh, how he could potentially help the club. Yeah, I mean, he's been great. Uh, he, he's a guy who I've had a lot of respect for for a long time. Uh, he and I have played a lot of games against each other, kind of came up at the same time. And, um, you know, he's been great to get to know him and to see him work. Um, he looks really good in camp, and he's a guy that, you know, obviously a good left-handed bat, but um, his ability to play first base and the corner outfield, um, you know, he's a guy that has a little bit of flexibility. So he's fit in really, really well with the guys and, um, you know, looking forward to, you know, hopefully going to, going to battle with them on a daily basis.